a second to check out my Patreon page, guys. Your support is really appreciated. Enjoy the tutorial. Hey guys, and welcome to the sixth Star Blaster uh, Let's Code tutorial. Now, I'm actually quite excited because I popped on to YouTube this morning um, just to check which was the next uh, number for this Let's Code tutorial because I'm not going to lie. I'm totally losing track of the number and I know we're only at six but there you go I still forgot anyway I was excited to see that I actually now have 2,000 subscribers and that's pretty awesome so I'd like to thank everyone who does subscribe and I want to just say you know boo to all of you who haven't subscribed and do watch the videos um, so anyway this is the sixth video for the Star Blaster and it's actually the last one um, this is the tutorial uh, where we're going to be doing the high scores so literally uh, all we have for this video is to add a new page uh, I've called mine high scores page then in the main page code um, we have the button for high scores already on the page so just double click on it or add the click event and just do the navigation service navigate and then just set it to whatever you call your page so that you can actually get there I mean you're welcome to test that and make sure it works um, so then on the high scores page what I've done I've added a few things um, obviously lose the tray here and set it to false. Um, I've just set the background that we have on the other pages, added the logo, uh, the Star Blast logo. Then I've just added um, a list box on the page, which I've given a black background so that we can actually see where the list box kind of is placed on the screen to make sure that you know we are actually looking in the right place. It's just mainly to neaten things up as well, because if we just chuck the text over the background, it might not have made uh, very like it might not have been able to read it very well. So. Um, then the other thing we've got is the uh, text block for the offline score so the players can see what the highest score has been on that device. Uh, then we've got the other text block which is for the online scores but it's actually just um, like almost like a label because we're not going to be changing that text. It's just going to say top 10 online scores so that you know what's beneath it. Uh, then other than that we just got the loading rectangle, the loading text and the loading bar which we use in the other ones. Um, so then obviously on this page we have the isolated storage. Um, so things which we had to add, start out at the start, sorry. Um, then in the initializing code, we have got the app setting stuff to check that it contains a uh, best score. If it does contain a best score, then it's going to say uh, best offline score and then it's going to add that score on. Um, but we have to have an if else here because there's a good chance that someone could start the app and go to the high scores without playing a game, which means that this wouldn't exist in the app settings. And so instead, we have to give them a little message saying you haven't played a game yet. Okay, um, so then at the end of this, basically what I've got is the get scores function, which I've made here, um, which I'll do in a second. But I've got the loading, obviously, which is going to do the true or false will be visible or not visible for all the loading stuff. Um, so then literally the reason we put that into the initializer is so the first thing it does is sets the page onto a loading screen. Uh, while it checks with the new page which we've got here called high scores um, which is this code here which on the PHP is literally just selecting all from the database so we've got the database of Star Blaster we're selecting all from the high scores row we're ordering it by the score and we're doing a descending um, in so basically we're going to get the highest number first uh, and then it's going to go down and it's going to take us the top 10. So basically we're going to get the top 10 high scores from the database put out into this um, PHP file, which means that our scores on our game will only ever show the top 10. I mean, you could take the limit out and have all the high scores or you could set your own limit. That's just as simple as that. But the reason we do it descending is because the highest score is the score we want to see. Uh, and then I'm just outputting the user's name, uh, a little wiggly line, which I've never really known the name for. Um, then I'm adding the score. And then I'm putting a little at symbol uh, on the end of it because we have to split the data somehow. So that's the PHP side of things. Uh, obviously the same as always. Put in, uh, if you're putting it on your own server, you use local host and then your root and then your password for root if you want to do it that way or whatever. Uh, and then if not, it has to be for a remote server. If you've got to put an IP in there, remember the other server might need permission uh, to let this file kind of do its thing with the database. But anyway. Um, the get scores then, once it finishes getting the scores from the website, um, what we're going to have is the reader down here where we're splitting the response on the ats. Now the reason we're splitting the at is because that is, we've got the data of the user and their score and then an at sign and then it's another user and their score and an at sign. So what we're doing is we're splitting up each user and its score into individual ones. 
Now the reason we take one, we then do a results, the total results is the response, so counting the string, like the split string, um, and we're taking one away and we're quite simply doing that because on the end of this information that's coming out of the website there is an at symbol and it's going to account for something after that at, but there's going to be no information there, there won't be any information there because you know the ats are going on the end of each entry from the database so there's always going to be one extra than we need so we just take one off to stop the code telling us that there's no data to be found then we add a little integer here and um, we clear so this is the high scores list box is what I've got um, the list box named as here um, so what we do is we do high scores list box items clear so we make sure it's empty in case you want to add a refresh button or something we want to make sure it clears the items before adding new ones otherwise you just end up getting longer and longer um, and then we've got the while loop here so while i is less than total results and then quite simply we have another split in here which splits the response on i so the first time around it's going to go it's going to get the string here it's going to get split zero and then it's going to split it again because we've got the user's name a wiggly line and then their score so when, once we have split it here we know that zero is going to be the user's name because that's on the left hand side of the wiggly line and then we know that one is on the right hand side of the wiggly line and that's why we've got split data one so what we're doing is we're adding into the um, items list of the list box and we're adding the user's name plus then a little space a hyphen another space and then their score just to kind of like make it neater um, for presenting the data and then we're going to have um, i plus plus so basically add one to i until that while loop is complete then the loading can uh, be set to false so that it's no longer technically loading and then just a nice little message box on the catch try catch in case you've done your file wrong you'll know from this catch or if you've got no signal on the device that you're testing on but if you're using the emulator there's a good chance that you're going to have connection anyway unless unlike you know what problem i've had before where my network card um and my like all my adapter settings decided they'd all mess up and completely screw my emulator but anyway um so if we basically try this now what I'm hoping will happen is what happened earlier. So if I go to high score straight away, um, we've got the loading. It loaded the top 10, but in my case, it's only four entries at the moment. But it also says you haven't played a game yet. So now if we give it a go, I'm going to call myself James with a Z because um, I can't remember what was in the database. So now all we've got to do is complete the game. I can never get above 60 when I'm doing it on the computer. And I still haven't deployed it to my phone yet. Come on. Oh no, this is shocking. Doesn't look like I'm getting 60 this time. Should have used my tablet and then I could have done touch. Come on. This is a poor effort. Really poor effort. Okay. Come on. Go, 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 come on, damn it. Okay, well, I got 56 anyway. So I'm going to upload my score. Score was uploaded, awesome, high scores. And now we can see that I've come in here just above a previous record which I've set. Um, so we have James with a Z there. So we know that that's all working. And more importantly, we know that it now says best offline score is 56. So now if we go out of the app and we find it again. and our high scores we can see that our applications uh, set our isolated storage sorry has saved um, our best score on the phone and we can still see that on this device the best score reached so far is 56 but that's since the app was installed so if the app is uninstalled and reinstalled on the device they'll lose their offline score but who does that really um, so not really a problem but anyway that's why we have the online database so as you can see we now have five entries here which is all that's in the database but eventually you know they'll become more and more scores as i have on my other games and then it will limit them to 10 and you can see the top 10. Um, the only thing you could do if you want to kind of make it neater is just increase the font size stuff like that maybe take the background off of it find i mean white works over blue anyway so you could probably take the background off of this and just have all the scores displayed in the sky um, and if you wanted to be fancy you could look at um, adding a list box with uh, an image and a text block and then you could kind of have little stars and then the player's name or whatever and you know there's all different ways to present it but basically what I wanted to do with the uh, let's code for the Star Blasters I wanted to show you guys a project from start to end of how we'd create a game 
and then use local scores and uh, online scores. So now I'm going to start trying to think of another type of uh, app to make, which I can kind of run through with everybody. If you've got an app in mind that you've always kind of wanted to create, um, do drop me a comment or send me a private message or tweet me or whatever. Um, and then maybe I'll look at uh, creating an app and showing everyone how to do it, really. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe, check out my uh, Patreon page, um, you know, tweet me, I don't really know, just, just do something, yeah? Um, I'll see you in the next video, guys.